So first things first to the American people, Washington is doing it again. While you were celebrating Memorial Day, all of our men and women who gave their lives for this great nation, and you were spending time with your family and your friends, this town was cutting another crap deal that's gonna put you more in debt with no real changes whatsoever. So the American people need to understand full and well, do not listen to the talking points. Do not listen to the cool phrases that are being thrown out in commercials on CNN or Fox or MSNBC because Washington is lying again. This bill has no cap in raising the debt, just a date in the future. We have no idea what that number is going to look like. Some people are saying $4 trillion, Some people are saying $3.5 trillion. This bill in year one might cut $12 billion if you just want to be generous. So who here thinks it's cool to cut $12 billion in exchange for $4 trillion? I don't think that's cool at all. This bill actually keeps the Biden baseline intact for the federal agencies. The Republicans in Congress have been saying for months that we need to get back to pre-COVID spending levels. This bill canonizes post-COVID spending levels brought to us by Joe Biden and the Democrats. This bill keeps all of Joe Biden's policy, all of Joe Biden's spending intact. This bill does nothing for the Green New Deal subsidies that are gonna cripple our electric grid. So when Americans are trying to figure out that they went and bought this electric car that they were subsidized to buy, but when they plug it in, there's not enough electricity on the grid, that is because Washington subsidized all these Green New Deal projects and nobody stood up to it except for people standing behind me right now. To my Republican colleagues, do not vote for this bill. I'm telling you right now, your voters back home are going to look at you and say, why did you vote for a bill that keeps all of Joe Biden's policy in place and all you did was raise the debt ceiling? They're going to tell you, why did you not stand up and demand that they go back to the table and renegotiate this deal? These negotiations happened. Listen, in negotiations, you go through it, you figure out what comes out the other side. But now it's time for the Republican members of Congress to weigh in on these negotiations. That is why I am a no. That is why the men and women behind me are no's. That is why more and more Republicans, as they read this bill, they are no's. And I will add this last thing. It's funny that the White House's talking points are very cheery. That the White House is telling Democrats, have crocodile tears, but vote for the bill. It's funny that you have 100 Democrats who are now greenlighting, they will vote for this bill. You know why they're gonna do that? Because none of their policy is changed and they get to keep all of their spending. And last but not least, if we were gonna do something constructive for the country, if Joe Biden didn't wanna get rid of his crazy Green New Deal spending, the least we could have done is secure the Southern border. Yes, here, here. And we didn't do that either. To my Republican colleagues, Vote no. Vote no and do the right thing. And let's go find a better deal.